Hi guys and welcome to this next flight controller therapy flash tip and today we're going to stick a receiver on our flight controller. So let's get this started. What we need to do, this is an RXSR, so it's an oldish receiver but this is a test board so I don't really want a decent or modern receiver on it. But um, this is pretty standard for a free sky receiver connection. We have on this cable, I have the ground, power, and S bus. And on this one is S port. Um, and this is obviously all inverted. Now the F405 deals with that quite nicely by setting up the smart serial straight away. So I've actually, I've wired up these, this plug focus so what you'll see on here we have ground 4.5 volt and SBS which is SBUS now SBUS here is actually the same uh, UART receiver pad as R2 it just has a hardware inverter in between itself and R2 before it goes to the processor so that's if people if you don't know um, FreeSky has everything inverted on a believe it's Futaba's fault because they nicked everything off Futaba. So we connect our receiver up. And then what I'm going to do is put the smart port onto T2. That's quite tight. But there we go. We're on there. And the receiver is flashing away. So now what we need to do is head over to the desktop, connect to iNav, and go to our ports page. So if you see UART2, I've not actually done anything on this whatsoever. As you see, it is how the series has progressed. But UART2 has already got Serial RX enabled. And that's all we actually need to do. So we don't even need to save and reboot this. It was already set. And if we go into configuration, what we should see is telemetry output is enabled and it's, uh, CPU based uh, serial ports, which is the smart serial is also enabled. So let me just check. So soft serial one, and it's already set to smart port. So what we need to do now, or we'll get our transmitter. Right, so we got back to the desktop. So we've got our receiver. And as you can see, the red lights flashing, I've got my transmitter just here. So we get that switched on. And you can see the red flashing light stops, it's bound. So we're all good to go. So if we head back into iNav, what we should now see is in the receiver page, we're all, we're all set. But what we now need to do is adjust our endpoints so that we get, ah, actually that one's already done. So we want a thousand, 2000 and the middle to be 1500. So show it the other way and then we'll get this out of the way so you can see what's going on here so if i do it on the pitch if i go all the way down this is a 998 or 988 which is wrong all the way up is 2000 with the roll all the way to the left should be a thousand all the way to the right should be 2000 so what we'll do is we'll alter the pitch and basically, once we've got one, we can just transfer the values to the others. You can see the throttle and the yaw are also incorrect. So what I'll do is I'll make the um, Tyrannus bigger, and I'll show you how to do it on the Tyrannus. It's going to be very similar on any OpenTX transmitter. So what we want to do is go menu and then go into the model settings and we want to find the outputs page. Now you can see here on channel one, I've already set the endpoints to minus 97.5, which got us to that 1000 and the minus, oh sorry, the positive 97.8, which got us to the 2000. So if we're, we're already on the uh, aileron channel here. So if we go down, you can see that saying 1,001, even though on iNav it's got 1,000. 
and 2000. So what we need to do, if you haven't already found this, I'll show you on the, the throttle, I mean the elevator. So what you do, you just hold it in the down position. And what you'll do is click in it to enter and you'll move this up until the number on INAV says 1000. So it's actually matching up pretty well to what it is on the transmitter. So enter again, and then we'll move over to the maximum sub trim and we'll put that up. And what we can do is go down. So that's 2000 here and it's also 2000 in INAV. So what we can then do, I'm actually gonna match this one up. which again is matched in INAV. And now, now all we need to do is replicate this onto the other um, main channel. So it's, it's only really the gimbal channels you need to worry about this on. It switches, it doesn't really matter. And the cool thing with INAV is obviously where it's a flight controller, you do most of the setting in a flight controller. So you only really need one model on your transmitter for the flight controller. So you only need to do this once. You can mess about with endpoints in the CLI on iNav, but then you have to do it for every single model. Whereas this, you do it once, just bind all your iNav models onto this. Because obviously, even if it's a plane or a wing, it doesn't matter because you still activate the rudder on a flying wing because you use it for stick commands so there's no difference in the setup and it also means all your switches are in the same positions and everything like that so that's how we set this up so now if we go back to the desktop so all the way across to the left is a thousand all the way to the right is two thousand down is a thousand up is two thousand with the yaw left is a thousand right is two thousand throttle all the way down is a thousand all the way up is two thousand and fifteen hundred will be the midpoint but, so that's how you set up your receiver in inav the only other thing that we haven't really discussed as is if you use a different thing like crossfire you'll need to change this obviously to crossfire i'm trying to click on the <laughs> So you'll, you'll need to change this to a, whichever um, protocol you're using. Also, if you're using Crossfire on, say, the, the 405 board, you would put that in the standard R2 um, pad and you wouldn't need to turn on the soft serial stuff. You can just use, obviously, you don't need, you can turn that off and imports. You'd have this as serial RX, and you wouldn't need to worry about the um, telemetry. It'll automatically send it on UART 2. So that's how to get your receiver set up. Obviously, this check here, going all right and left, make sure that the receiver is going in the correct, or your controls are going in the correct direction for INAV. If you put this over to the left and find that the roll goes up to 2000, that's when you will need to reverse it in the transmitter. It's the only time you ever reverse anything in the transmitter is if you go left and it goes up to 2000 or down and it goes up to 2000 or vice versa. So you always want it left or down is 1000 right and up is 2000 and if they're backwards that's the only time you reverse in a transmitter but other than that we're all set so we have rc control on our flight controllers so what we could do now is actually get it in a model and connect up servos we can connect up gps and we'll get onto that actually i have a video for gps already so i'll put a link up for that Thank you guys for watching. I hope you found it useful. If you did, a thumbs up would be great. Please subscribe to my channel and click the bell notification icon to get updates when new videos are released. Fly your models like you stole them, guys. Enjoy the great weather, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.